And one way to tell if you have a DE filter, it actually will say on there, this is a Hayward Pro Grade DE filter. Another way to tell is that I have a backwash valve, so you can backwash in between cleanings. So those are two signs. I'm going to pull it open so you can see the actual uh, grids inside the filter. And this is what the DE filter looks like when you open it up. You have eight grids in there. And this is the top manifold DE filter, which is probably the more difficult one to clean. Um, you can actually clean it off in the tank if you needed to. Um, but I have to take this one out because the yard doesn't um, allow me to do that. It's got too much cement. And then the other, the other, all the brands use the same top manifold. Jandy, Hayward, and the Pentair FNS Plus, the American Products also, and the Leslie brand filters all have this configuration. Pentair does make an, a 4000 series DE filter. It doesn't have a top manifold, and that's a really good filter if you're going with a DE filter versus having one of these with a top manifold. So the drawback of a DE filter, of course, is really messy when you clean it. Um, if there is a broken grid, your pool will become very cloudy as the DE le leaks back into your system. And they, the benefit of the DE filter, you can actually backwash it with that valve in between cleanings. Now the DE filters, the reason why they're called DE filters is because they're filled with diatomaceous earth. What I mean by that, in this powder you actually actually have to charge the filter with in order to actually work effectively. If you put too little of the di diatomaceous earth in there, it won't filter properly. Too much will clog it up. And one drawback with the DE filter is it's very messy when you clean it. The powder actually stays around for weeks or months because it's really a fine uh, mineral and it's hard to clean up. And also it is a carcinogen, so the dust does cause cancer. You don't want to inhale any when you're charging your filter. When it does get wet, it becomes inert, and so it's no longer powdery, and it's no longer carcinogen. But when it's dry, in the powdered form, it looks kind of like flour. Actually, let me pull it out so you can see it. It's really powdery like flour, flour. and this is actually the, the uh, cancerous dust particles that can get in your lungs. And here's the uh, Pentair 4000 series filter, the DE filter. I like this one because there's no top manifold. You could take actually each individual individual grid out and clean it. It actually has a bottom manifold, so it's a much superior filter over the other ones. So it's got this removable top manifold that's really easy to get back on, and it's a lot easy to easier to clean than the other uh, top manifold DE filters. I rinse it off a little as so you can see it, but the DE actually coats the grids. These are just regular fiber. Uh, material and the DE will actually coat the grid with the element and then that will hold all the dirt onto the grid and allow the filter to filter and so that's why the DE is very important otherwise without the DE the dirt would just stick to this fiber here this material and it would not filter so that's why that you have to have the DE in the filter Here's another type of cartridge filter. This is the Stay Right System 3. And here's the inside of the cartridge filter. Basically, the dirt is trapped on these pleats here. Um, and this one needs to be cleaned right now, so I took the lid off. Unlike the DE filter, the cartridge filter doesn't need any element in there. The, the actual uh, cloth fiber of the grid cartridge um, traps all the dirt. Here's another cartridge filter. This is the Pentair. Uh, clean and clear cartridge filter and it's a very common uh, kind of cartridge filter. Hayward and Jandy also make a very similar one. I'll pull it open so you can see the cartridges inside and of course uh, when they built this little enclosure here on top they didn't um, give me a lot of clearance but I have a little trick to get the lid off here. And it's the same cartridge configuration for the Hayward and Jandy filter with the four cartridges that need to be taken out and cleaned. The general consensus in the industry is that the DE filter is better than the cartridge filter because the DE filter will filter more microns and maybe leave your pool clear. But you know, the new cartridge filters are just as good as the DE filter. You don't notice any difference at all as far as water clarity and filtration ability. The only drawback with the cartridge filter, you have to clean them a little more often sometimes and you can't backwash them, of course, because they don't, they don't have any earth in them. So you have to actually take it apart and clean it when they get dirty versus a DE filter where you can actually backwash it 
in between cleanings to get the pressure down on the filter. And this is a sand filter. It's the least efficient filter. And this one here has many drawbacks. One of the main drawbacks is you're constantly having to back wash it uh, because you never are supposed to actually take it apart and clean this filter. So you're constantly back washing it. And one of the side effects of back washing it is that dirt will shoot back into the pool um, even if you put it on rinse mode and be as careful as you can. It's also not very really efficient as filtering out the microns of bacteria and debris. So it's the least efficient of the four filter types. You're doing a lot of this with this filter to get it to operate properly. And it's really a waste of water and time. You don't want to backwash it for more than a minute and a half because then you'll start getting the sand out of the filter. So this is way down on my list of filters to put in your backyard. It's really inefficient and I would stay away from the sand filters. This is a quad D filter made by Pentair. It's a combination of a D and a cartridge filter together. And the good thing about this filter is it's very compact. This is actually a 60 square foot uh, version of it. And it's about the same size as a 36 square foot uh, DE or cartridge filter. So they actually come in larger sizes of filtration area. This is a 60. They make an 80 and they make a 100 square foot filter. So if you have a large pool, uh, this Quad D filter is a great investment. Even if you have a small pool, the 60 square foot one is a great little filter for your pool. It actually is a very great product. It filters the pool really well and I would recommend this filter. And you can see it looks like a cartridge filter, but you can see the DE actually coating the grids, uh, trapping the debris.